In this video, I want to share five best practices for you to use your AED. Hey there, Catherine Bernier from Skydive Vibes, sharing the passion of skydiving and helping you become a better and safer skydiver. So if you're new here, consider subscribing and clicking the little bell icon to be notified whenever we post new videos all about skydiving. So today, most skydiving associations and drop zones are recommending the use of an AED in the skydiver's equipment. So having this small computer in your equipment is very important because this actually can save your life. How it works? Well, if you don't have a canopy deployed above your head at a certain altitude, this device will actually, using this cutter, cut the reserve closing loop. So by doing so, it will extract your reserve canopy. And if you were unconscious, for example, you'll end up having a canopy above your head to land. How does it know that you don't have a canopy above your head? It actually tracks your speed. So depending on the unit you have and the setting it has, it will activate if you are at a certain descent speed at a certain altitude. Regardless of the unit, it's a last chance deployment for a skydiver that is unable to deploy or has lost his altitude awareness, just like in this clip. Before diving into the five best practices of using your AED, I wanted to let you know that this video is sponsored by Cypress. So AirTech is based in Germany and they are celebrating 28 years in manufacturing the Cypress AED. The Cypress, which stands for Cybernetic Parachute Release System, wasn't the first AED ever created. But with its visionary cutter system, superior engineering and electronics, it revolutionized the way the skydiving sport viewed AEDs forever. Now, here are those five best practices. First one, whenever you start your skydiving day and you want to make sure that you turn on your AED on the drop zone you'll jump at. You don't want to turn it on at home and then when you arrive at the drop zone use it because while it's turning on it's actually setting its altitude zero. So if you're not at the same height at your home in your drop zone, well, you may end up having your AED fire higher or lower than expected, if you need it, of course. Second, if you have a multi-mode AAD, just like I do with my changeable Cypress, well, you wanna make sure that it's set at the right mode for the type of jump that you'll do. This becomes a lot more important when we talk about swooping or canopy formation, for example. And talking about the different modes, you want to be aware of the settings of each of those modes, the altitude of fire and the speed of fire as well. It's very important because you don't want to end up in situations where you have two canopies out, just like those quick examples. Oh, shit. Third, when you do turn on your AAD, make sure to keep an eye on all the screens that will appear because this is the only way you can see an error popping up. You don't want to just open it up and then go talk with your friends over there and let it run by itself because you won't be able to notice any possible errors or important messages. So make sure that while you're opening up, Look at the screen without being distracted until you can see that it's ready to go. If you do see something unusual on your AED, make sure to talk about it and show it to your rigger. You also want to make sure that during your gear checks that you take a look at it as well because an error can also pop up during your jumping day. Fourth, be aware of the shutdown timing of your AED. Most of the AEDs have a certain period of time that they remain on, so you want to make sure that it won't shut off 
during a jump or when you're about to board a plane. So if you are in doubt about the number of hours it has been on, make sure to close it up and then turn it back on after so that you make sure that you reset its timer. This becomes more specifically important when we talk about night jumps because you're most likely have been on the drop zone all day. So you got to make sure that your AED will remain on even for those later at night jumps. Fifth, you know that you can set an altitude offset on your AAD. This is important to do if you are taking off and landing at different altitudes. But make sure that you don't mess around with that setting and also make sure that if you do set an altitude offset that it's done properly and that the unit did retain the information. Since this is a little bit more advanced, I highly recommend that you ask someone, a rigger or an instructor to help you in that matter if you are in the case where you need to set an altitude offset. I'm gonna do more videos about setting your AED and also reviewing the changeable mode of this Cypress unit. So if you don't wanna miss those, make sure to subscribe. They will appear right there when they will be done. Meanwhile, do not forget that you can support Skydive Vibes and by doing so, you'll get a chance to win skydiving gear every month. So make sure to check the first link in the description below. And on that, keep jumping, stay safe with Cypress and Blue Skies.